All right, so let me introduce you to the skirt. Now this is this was a really popular Tudor era vegetable that was grown towards the end of the medieval era and it was known to be on everyone's plate from kings all the way down to paupers and it was really popular in monastic gardens and there was a gentleman gardener named john warledge who wrote a book in 1677 called the art of gardening and he described it as the sweetest whitest and most pleasant of all the roots he also mentioned that it was it would act as a restorative and help with weak stomachs and as a side note is known as an aphrodisiac but I wouldn't take that to heart because pretty much anything that was rare or unusual was known as an aphrodisiac back then. Now this vegetable apparently originated in China and it was brought over to Britain from the Romans when they occupied Britain. It grows really long skinny roots and it's known to be somewhat difficult to grow and to harvest. And it's because of that that it fell out of popularity over the last couple centuries because it really makes a very poor commercial crop. Uh, it's slow to germinate and it's uh, difficult to harvest and depending on the growing season if it's not grown under extremely wet conditions it can be it can tend to have a woody core which makes it challenging to cook as well however this just might be the perfect vegetable for the home gardener looking to diversify their garden add a little bit of culinary interest and also add some permaculture value because it will self-seed and it's easy to uh, propagate by dividing up the roots all right, so why did I consider growing skirt? Well, uh, when I'm considering self-sufficiency, I like to look back on people who were self-sufficient. So when I did a little bit of research on uh, the Tudor era, uh, I came across the skirt and found that this was something that a lot of people grew, and there must be a reason for it. Uh, there must be a reason that a lot of people uh, ate it, in particular uh, because uh, during the Tudor era, the, the Renaissance period, the medieval era, uh, you're talking about people who uh, didn't go to the grocery store to <laughs> get their vegetables. So I am studying uh, people like that who were growing their own food for their absolute and total survival. Um, I'm trying to understand what they did in order to help myself become more sufficient. So the skirt is something that I'm experimenting with. So let me go over a little bit about the skirt, uh, the, the properties of the skirt plant in general. Now, skirt is an open pollinated vegetable. It grows best in zones five to nine, and it works really well in partial shade. So for me, uh, having a bunch of trees, this to me uh, is a really good vegetable to try growing. The challenge with skirt is that it's really difficult to get started. Um, now for me, as an absolute beginner gardener, uh, if I, I figure if I can do it, pretty much anybody can. I'm gonna explain what I did. So back in January, uh, I ordered my seeds from uh, Restoration Seeds. Uh, these are one, this is one of the only companies that I know that uh, actually sells skirt seeds. And I started the seeds in a float tray. And it seems to me, because float trays are, are fairly wet conditions, uh, the skirt requires a lot of wet conditions, that that was the ideal situation for growing skirt. Uh, so in order to germinate the seeds, it requires uh, warm soil, uh, 55 to 60 degrees, and it requires uh, wet soil. So uh, the float trays worked really well. Um, it does take up to 30 days for germination. Uh, I don't remember quite exactly how long it took mine. I kind of just threw them in there and just didn't really expect much of anything. And when they popped up, I was really surprised. So I was able to get them to germinate. Um, I couldn't tell you what my germination rate was because I really suck at documenting things, but I did get quite a few plants out of it. Uh, so if I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Now, uh, we are now in June, and you can see that this is as big as my plants are. This is one that I haven't transplanted yet, and here are two that I have. Uh, actually, there are six here total, but that one didn't grow too well. Something ate that one, likely my slugs, and something ate these two over here as well. And I did notice some squirrels in my garden, so I don't know if it was the squirrels or if it was the slugs, uh, but we're hoping to keep a couple of these other ones alive and I have this last remaining one here that I think I'm going to plant uh, in my stone bed behind me which is under a tree and I think that might uh, help at least with uh, some of the squirrel problems uh, we'll see now the skirt is related to the parsley family it will grow parsley like leaves as you can see on here and the parsley like leaves will grow white flowers and those white flowers tend to be a pollinator that attracts lacewing now lacewing is really good in your garden because it helps eat pests such as aphids and caterpillars among uh, other pests in your garden. So 
Uh, for that, it's really good as a permaculture vegetable. Now, the plant will grow about two feet high, and it's known to be fairly disease resistant and have very little pests. Uh, however, apparently the carrot fly can be one issue uh, with, with skirt. And because of that, it's recommended that every year or two that you dig up all the roots and you take a piece of that and replant it uh, to kind of prevent uh, the carrot fly. Now, as far as uh, cooking and uh, storage of, of skirt, apparently they can be stored just like parsnips or like carrots. You can put them in your refrigerator or you, what most people do is they just keep them in the ground over winter and harvest as needed. And as far as cooking, they can be eaten raw in salads or they can be boiled or roasted or added to any kind of soups or stews. Now, I'm really excited to have this vegetable in my garden. I'm really curious to see uh, if it works for me or not. Uh, if this is something you guys want to consider, uh, reach out to Restoration Seeds. I'm also going to leave links in the description for information on both the seeds and the plant itself, and you guys can research this yourself. If you guys try it, I want to know. Or if you guys currently grow skirt, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, let me know what you think about growing this really cool uh, medieval vegetable in your garden. So if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell. If you don't hit the bell, our videos tend to get buried and you won't be notified uh, whenever we post something new. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this.